Hey guys, if you're new here, I am Candy. I am a mom to five, and on my channel I share a lot of homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, day in the life, what's for dinner, freezer cooking, all kinds of fun stuff. And in today's video, I have a grocery haul for you guys from a local store we call Anthony's here in the town I live in. I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I picked up. And then I paid for a meat pack for $89, but I didn't actually pick that up till the next day when it was ready. But I'm gonna show you all that together in this video. So anyways, let's jump right into everything I picked up. Okay, so I'm trying to make things easy. So I've got some honey ham, some roast beef, and a variety pack of turkey. So we can just do some easy sandwiches for some lunches, maybe even some dinners. Two packages of these cheddar smoked sausages six packages of gravy that's just kind of a stock up item a red onion three packages of mac and cheese a four cheese and an original shells and cheese a big old bag of cheddar jack and a, a mild cheddar cheese just we are out of cheese and have been out of cheese all garden dressing bananas two different bags of salads one's field greens one's very veggie Spice pumpkin pecan ice cream because I'm stressed and ice cream sounded good. Yes, it did. Okay. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Penny keeps asking me for mint chocolate chip ice cream, so I just picked that up because I know the kids will love it. Swiss cheese, one pound, two pounds of Colby Jack, one pound of Munster, and one pound of Monterey Jack cheese. Two cream of chicken just for a recipe I'm going to do soon. Limeade and a pineapple juice. The kids keep asking me for more juice. A big box of these seasoned hash brown potatoes. These last forever because they're dehydrated. It has nine pounds of potatoes in it. These are something really awesome to have if you like to prep and save certain foods like flour and things. Potatoes are a good idea to have. Two of the cured bacon sausage and two of the original pork sausages. We are almost out of all the sausage I made and I need to make more but again we need things easy right now. Beef and bean chimichangas for James because James likes chimichangas and he's home a lot right now. A big bag of gravy mix for things like biscuits and gravy. A bag of shrimp because I have not had seafood in quite a while. I'm dying for seafood of some sort. A bag of tilapia. This will be dinner one night, probably while James is in the hospital because he does not eat or want to smell fish. Okay, two loaves of white bread for the sandwich stuff we got. And, and then for me, I got two of these Mountain Dew Voodoos. I like the mystery flavors, so those are for me. Okay, so my question is, do you think a meat pack is worth it versus buying everything individually? I mean, the plus of buying things individually would be getting exactly what you want because sometimes in a meat pack you get what you get. But I have noticed that if you add up the prices of the things in the meat pack, they come up cheaper this way when I bought two now. The first one I bought was $119 plus whatever the tax was, and then this one was $89 plus the tax. Um, if I add it up, the cost of what I got in this $89 pack I'm going to show you would be a little over $100. So I'm saving $20-ish dollars. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's in the pack, but I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think and if it was um, something that you do or have considered doing, and if so, what do you think the pros and cons of it are? Okay, let's jump into it. Two of these five-pound bags of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I can use these for soups or fried chicken or really about anything, and we can probably get four or five meals from those, so that's pretty good to have on hand in the freezer and I don't normally buy boneless skinless anything because it's more expensive usually so that's pretty good to have two more of this cured pork and sausage bacon um I have never tried it so hopefully we enjoy that because I got some to try and it came with some in my pack pork sirloin roast another pork sirloin roast those will be great for some pork um roasts like slow cooker type dinners pork and apples or something like that when it starts to cool down four pork chops another pack of four pork chops right here as well and then a third package with four pork chops in it as well and then the package that i ordered came with eight pounds of 80 20 ground chuck and the good thing about that is that normally I buy the tubes and I divide them up and freeze them myself. 
but these are already divided up for me so I don't even have to do that I can just throw them in the freezer they're in the trays and then they wrap them in the freezer paper so they last a long time just like they would if I was to vacuum seal them okay now we have two packages of stew meat and we have two of these chuck roast now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything put back in the box so I can get home and get it put in the freezer but I just wanted to show you guys everything that came in the $89 meat pack that I picked up and I wanted to find out do you guys ever do these meat packs do you like to do the meat packs do you not like the meat packs because of the lack of variety do you think they're worth it um, all that jazz so please let me know in the comments below how you feel about meat packs like this and um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this again it has worked out really well for us it's been um, a lot of stuff that we would normally use so it's nothing that we're not going to use and like I said earlier the boneless skinless chicken I wouldn't normally buy because it's more expensive but we will definitely use that as well but anyhow just I'd love to chat in the comments below about all this so that's everything for my grocery haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's chat below bye